The auto gain matching feature in Ozone 7 is a great way to reveal exactly what all of the modules are doing to your audio files. For example, in this particular audio file, I've added the vintage tape, equalizer, dynamics, post equalizer, and maximizer to our signal flow. And the problem is that when we use the bypass button to audition the before, or the original file, versus the after, the mastered version, it's really hard to hear what's going on with all of the modules all at once because there's such a dramatic change in gain or loudness during the playback. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and hit the space bar to start the playback. Take my hand, share my so right now we're listening to the mastered version of this audio file, but if we wanted to hear how far we've come from the original version, we'll just hit the bypass button, but listen to what happens. See how the loudness drops right off the map? And the reason why is because most of those modules are adding some sort of gain, especially the maximizer module. So what we want to do is hear the before and after with the gains of both the original and the mastered versions of the audio files at the same gain level. So if you'll notice right next to the bypass button here, we've got this little ear icon, and that is the auto gain matching. So if you enable that feature, now when you click the bypass button, you're going to hear both audio files at an equal level, but you're going to really be able to hear the difference between the original file and what your mod are doing. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's listen to the mastered version. If you love then I'll hit the bypass button to hear it in its original form. So that way you don't get that huge inrush of gain, which makes it really hard to hear what's going on with all of your modules. So that's auto gain matching. And next, let's talk about mid-side processing.